What's going on guys? It is Galazio here. Welcome back to the Newport County Career Mode series. This is episode 9 and it is a transfer deadline day special because we are looking to improve this size. We've got a very static team that we brought in was on a free transfer. So we are hoping that we will make some changes this episode around. Of course, we brought in a lot of youth players. The two Davises, Russo, recently added into the squad. Of course, we've had Bennett and stuff as well in the team. But one of the players that we are notably after is Matheson, which has been a player that we have been keen on for a very long time. Same with Semino, who is another player that we have been keen on over the last couple of months to actually bring in that striker position, including Poole in the defensive side, because we are quite weak on that defensive side of things. There was a couple of players that I was going to try and sign on the free, but that's not gone our way. For example, Lammers, who we are literally just missed out on, which I'm just absolutely gutted about. Um, we was going to look to bring him in on a free, but we do end up missing now, which is really, really unfortunate for our search. But... Before we get on into any transfer negotiations, we got to send this game against Barnsley, which we drew 1-1. And I'll say, Polion gave himself another goal. Senior still in the lineup at the moment. Of course, Toby Watson has added in, in a transfer request. Will that happen this episode? Of course, make sure you stay tuned for later on in the episode to see if that finds out. But we are in chat with Rochdale, who have finally allowed us to negotiate with Mr. Luke Matheson. And I'm thinking, you know what? Let's actually get rid of one or two players to actually um, in the side. So we put Gully up plus 400 grand, which puts it just under his market value, which is really important. So I'm thinking, you know what? Gully isn't playing. He's coming into that right position as well. So it's a really good offer that we get rid of Gully. And we are Gully on a free so, I have to say, it's a real good consideration. Guys, let me know what do you think of the signing so far. We're bringing in Luke Matheson, a very good young player at 18 years old at the moment. 64 rated, very fast, only downside, doesn't have much fitness. But we can work on that in the coming games. But he comes in the side on a very low wage, a brand new player to the squad, and to strengthen... The defence, which has been one of the biggest issues for us this season. As you can see now, he's jumped straight into the side. Bello, Russ, Charisma, and of course Luke Matheson in the team, which is huge for us. And of course Russell that we recently brought in from the Youth Academy is now 73 rated. So Matheson looks really solid. Could be a really good player for us. But we are in the final few hours of the transfer window. And an offer has come in for Davis for um for six million pounds. And this guy is insane. He's playing so well for us. But we have declined it. If this was earlier in the transfer window, maybe I would have accepted it. Even with the likes of Toby Watson, which by the looks might not actually sell considering he is meant to be sold. I don't want to say him because we have no replacement for him. For Toby Watson, all fairness, we do. We could actually got we got a few right midfielders out on loan, which we could easily bring back to replace Toby Watson, such as Dreyer, who is one of our uh, youth academy gems that we found. And speaking of gems and youth academy, we are signing and rejecting a few players. This guy here, valued at 300k, K, even as you say, Gunderson. Looks very, very good. So we sign him into the side. Luke Keel, little in between on this one. Do we sign him? Do we keep him? Um, but that time, we actually do sign him in. So we are trying to build up a nice little uh, repertoire with our youth academy at the moment. So the side looking pretty strong, of course. Gunderson, another central midfielder, which is really annoying. I thought he was slightly different position. But hopefully he will grow quite quickly. We can loan him out, get him developing, and he'll add that extra depth to our side. We'll wait and see about that in future episodes. But I'm sending out a new scout. I'm going to see if we can find something else. And we are looking for 
ladies and gentlemen, an attacker. Because one of the areas that we are slacking in on the moment in that youth academy section is the forwards. So I'm really looking forward to actually trying and improving that. Because our defence now, I'm thinking, is real strong, including... The actual midfield, which is really important because we've got a lot of depth there with the likes of Bennett. A lot of you last episode was happy to see that Kavlikenko got a red card um, because you want to see Bennett start a lot more. Stay tuned, watch this space because that could easily be happening very, very soon. Training injury, we do have Bello is going to be out for five weeks which is just oh so unfortunate for the young lad he has not had much luck with injuries whatsoever um and of course like you know if we just signed a youth player into that position so that potentially could give him the opportunity to uh, jump into our side but guys that's the end of this episode a short one but it is transfer deadline day and that is a wrap Luke Matheson comes in. We've signed in several youth players, such as Russo, Davis. Unfortunately, Bello is now out injured. So, hopefully, we can have a real strong push for promotion. Of course, still in third place at the moment. Really up and down in that first, second, and third. Hopefully, it'll improve. But, guys, my name is Glad. You'll find me as watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And guess what? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.